and careful decision when it's time to take a new direction at work. Zayn Malik leaving One Direction and millions in money and in fans. Tonight, the meltdowns after learning Zayn was gone and the other spectacular moments when folks at the office say, I'm done. Here's Chris Conley. Who would quit the world's biggest boy band in mid-tour? He did. This week, Zayn Malik taking his high notes and heading home for good, leaving the mega-grossing One Direction, saying, I want to be a normal 22-year-old. His fans flooding social media with their heartbroken reaction. Hitting the same note as Zane, this Texas school bus driver, also eager to avoid possibly overexcited young people, as she got on her phone and walked off a crowded school bus. You need to take somebody to get this bus to these kids, I'm done. I can't take it no more. Oh, no. Dramatic and how. Now, just as the satiric website The Onion has zeroed in on employees' love of ditching your job scenarios, consider the Quitzilla, a new breed of employee who orchestrates his or her departure into a major media event. Last year must have seemed like quitting time. In Anchorage, Alaska, KTVA News 11 correspondent Charlo Green was wrapping up her report on a medical marijuana group called the Alaska Cannabis Club. Why was this an issue that had particular resonance for you? Well, I love weed. <laughs> I love it. Every single reporting job I have probably smoked right after I got off work, daily. Charlotte loves weed so much that she is the owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club. The subject of her report, this is a situation typically referred to as a conflict of interest, not to harsh anyone's mellow. You're not really supposed to do that, are you, Charlo? No, I have a degree in journalism. I know all about ethics. I made a choice, and I am unapologetic in it. Unapologetic period. I've got like lady balls that compare to no other. There could be no denying that statement when Charlotte tagged her story live and her local news career went up in smoke. Now everything you heard is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but it, I quit. I mean, uh, pardon for us. So that happened. I knew this was going to be my exit. All of it was planned out top to bottom, except for the it. Yeah, I just spoke from my heart. I spoke my truth in that moment. You knew you were going to be fired. I knew I would be fired if I told my boss that me, the weed reporter, had a weed business. Yes, of course I'd be fired. So you lied to him instead? No, I didn't lie. I omitted. We spy and told. Then there's Marina Schifrin. She'd put in a couple of years in Taiwan at a web-based news video content provider. She'd had enough. We strive at home. Quitzilla urge kicked in. So around 4 a.m. at the office, she solo danced her way through this so long. Now up to more than 19 million views. Marina's video put that Kanye West track gone onto the singles chart eight years after its release. In North Carolina, Gregory Eng had found a way to supplement his income with his own web series called Freezer Burns. For six years and 600 episodes, he reviewed frozen food until some of its sub-zero quality left a bad taste in his mouth. I, I can't do this anymore. This is horrible. We should not be feeding our kids this. We should not be eating this frozen food anymore. I'm done with this. I just became angrier and angrier. I looked at the uh, ingredient list and I didn't recognize half the ingredients and I don't know what happened it's just, I just kind of snapped mid mid sentence that became my last episode and his first viral one he's now dedicating his efforts to childhood nutrition and a local food bank from bank back to bong Charlo Green's four-letter farewell earned her an escort out of the building as KTVA apologized to viewers all right we apologize for that And I went home and everyone was like, what? You said the F word. <laughs> Alaska has legalized the use of marijuana, but it's still illegal to buy or sell weed. Last weekend, with a search warrant in hand, cops raided Charlo's club and her home, seizing a couple of vehicles, but making no arrests and filing no charges. Again, Charlo was reporting live, this time for social media, and using that word again. Like, if this doesn't scream a need for marijuana reform, I don't know what the f does.